Happy Friday to my basic bitches out there. This is Friday No Filter, where we unleash the rant on the basics of health. Each Friday, we tear down the glossy facade and dive headfirst into the nitty gritty of what it takes to thrive and the chaos of modern health. No frills, no fluff, just straight talk about what matters. It's time to embrace the chaos on your own journey and give a big, bold middle finger to the status quo. Hello there, and welcome back. All right, you guys, another week is down. We are here doing the thing uh, every week. Um, <clears throat> so week one of Weight Loss for Real Women is done. This week was pretty cool. We had our content call. We had lots of good stuff going on in our group. And then I did my very first piece of the intentional movement series, which is a little bit different than what I've done before. So I go in and actually educate and teach around a specific movement of, uh, of that. So I'm pretty excited about it, but, um, that went really well. Um, we're still trying to figure out our heat, uh, kids school has been a shit show this week. Um, and I'm going to be super honest. I feel extremely overwhelmed, overstimulated, and feeling like I cannot, for the life of me, catch up for anything. I am feeling like just I'm behind in everything that I do. I Nothing is getting done, even though that's not true, right? All these things that we tell ourselves, all these realities that aren't really reality, they're just these expectations that we have placed and laid on ourselves for what we think is reality, right? <clears throat> and I'm just like, I need a breath at this point. So I'm really happy that my husband, uh, normally he picks up additional shifts all week long. And because the Lions are playing, go Lions. Let's go. Come on. I need Green Bay to lose and I need the Lions to win because I swear to God, if I have to watch another game with my son and the Packers, I'm going to literally drink antifreeze. It's going to happen. I'm going to lie. It's awful. So, um, go Lions. But anyways, so they play on Sunday in the afternoon and there's games on Saturday. So I'm hoping that we can just get some chill time and finally just like take a breath because we haven't been able to really do that. We have been cooped up in this house all week. We haven't really been able to go anywhere or do anything. Um, finally my son had like a swim meet. So we left the house. I left the house minus the gym for the first time in like six days. So yay. Um, and so that's what I'm feeling right now. And I want to extend that it's okay to feel this way sometimes. Um, we can't live here forever, but there are going to be moments in life where this is the case. Um, and it's okay. Like, uh, here's your permission to sometimes feel overwhelmed and overstimulated and lacking capacity and lacking wanting to do shit. <laughs> and you want to sit on your couch and do fucking nothing. Um, it's okay and it's normal. So that being said, I want to take a little piece of uh, Wednesday's podcast and put it here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to just say this yesterday I posted, um, on my stories or excuse me, on my Facebook page, a picture of my breakfast and somebody came here and it's like, mm, it sounds like you're shaming women and making women feel bad and all this stuff. And what it was, it was like pancake or no French toast. It was fruit and some sausage. And it was like real women eat this for breakfast. And the point and the sentiment that I was trying to get across to women out there is that women need to be eating food, real food, not liquefying greens, not taking fat burners, not restricting to 227 calorie meals. This drinking your protein shake is great, but that's not a meal. Protein shakes are not meals. They, are, they should not be used as meals. They can be used as supplementation. They can be used as like, oh, I need more protein today. They can be used as shit, I'm on the go. This is better than nothing, but this doesn't make it a meal, okay? It does not make it a meal. And somebody got really upset by that. Somebody got really upset. And so I made another post on my Facebook page about it that said, basically, if you have a problem with what I post, you really need to ask yourself, why does that bother me so much? Why does that bother me so much? And to be fair, my meal that I posted that I said, this is what real women eat is, was about 550 calories. Some of you would fucking poop yourself if you ate 500 calories in one sitting. And that's not entirely true because, again, as I explained with my podcast on 
Wednesday, you might think you're not consuming 500 calories in a sitting, but I guarantee that the majority of you actually are. You just have no fucking idea that you are. Like, no idea. So, that being said, the point of the post was to get women to understand you need to eat food, right? <clears throat> Somebody got upset. Somebody got their feelings hurt. They were offended. If that ignites you, I, that is not on me. That is a projection of your interpretation of your own issue, right? I'm sitting here saying real women eat this. Somebody else had made another comment on there about, um, oh gosh, I don't even remember what it said, but it was like also kind of like, ha 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 ha, like this is not accurate or not polite or let me, you know, I'm just gonna go read it because I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Um, this is what uh, plenty of quote unquote real women out there that have eating disorders and have been conditioned. I mean, unless they're tucking their peen, which is not uncommon these days, I think they are real, right? My res- my comment to that was just like figure of speech, love, real women eat food and not restrict is the whole point, right? That was that was the whole point of that comment was real women eat real food. I'm not telling you to exactly eat what I'm consuming. Somebody made a comment like, "Oh, I can't you I can't eat gluten. I'm like, well, use a gluten-free bread, you know, like that's okay. Like you can do that. Like you don't even have to eat the French toast that I posted, but you could eat a bagel and cream cheese and some fruit and some sausage or an egg, right? It doesn't have to be this imitation of what I consume. My point is that real women eat real food, not food out of containers. Um, And by that, I mean, being super restrictive on the amount of every little piece of thing that you can eat, right? Like I know Beachbody is like, you know, the red container means one thing, the blue container means something else, the yellow container is something else. I don't even know because I never, th- that was a piece. I did Beachbody like the workouts, but I never did Beachbody the, uh, like the food piece of it. I did all, I did everything else, but not that. Um, and so, or it's like these, you know, soy bars that are fuelings that get delivered to your front porch that are quote unquote food. They're not food. They're pieces. They're, they're so fucking chock full of shit ingredients. It's like, what the fuck? You want to be healthy, but you're going to put this into your body. It's no different than, <clears throat> I understand people might be uh, vegetarians or don't eat meat because they're feelings towards whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm excluding this, but those of you that eat vegetarian because you think meat's bad, have you looked at the ingredients, the impossible burger or whatever it's called? Fucking trash, fucking trash, absolute garbage. But you're so afraid to put fucking meat in your body. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Again, not talking about those that have feelings, emotionals. Okay. That's not the same. So who I'm talking about, just people who are like, meat's bad. Uh, okay. Um, So just understanding that piece and understanding like this is what real women should be eating, which is real food. We shouldn't be restricting. Can't have carbs. Can't have this. Not allowed to eat that. That's too much. That's too little. This is too this. This is too that. Whatever the case is, this is what real women should be eating. If you are a real human being, you should be eating real food. That doesn't mean you can't eat things out of a box or out of a can or out of a you know, freezer. I'm not saying that, that there's not a time and a place. It's still, in my opinion, more nutrient dense and more better, more better, better for you. It is better for you than a fast food place that you're going to go to or something like that. So I will compromise. I, and I compromise myself. I've been posting a lot in my one-on-one community about what I consume because I think it's important for them to see as I continue now on my own journey of health that they get to see what, what do I do? You know, and I've been also super honest with them about like, I'm fucking overwhelmed. I feel overstimulated. I want to eat like a fucking trash panda today. I'm starving. I don't want to go to the gym because I want them to see the process of all this is normal. These feelings that we have are normal. What's not normal is not eating food, is restricting your food, is telling yourself you can't have. That is not normal. Okay. Not normal. And just like I posted on my page yesterday, I really encourage you that if something I say or something you see somewhere else really bothers you, 
Ask yourself, why does that bother me so much? Why does that piss me off? This always happens with, like, I'm not even going to lie, but my mentor that I was with for over 18 months that I'm still technically with because I'm still in her, like, her membership program, okay? There are so many times she talks about money and it ignites the fuck out of me. She talks about her million dollar home that she bought and she talks about all of her trips to Disney and all these businesses she's now buying. She has this like Airbnb that she rented or they they purchased a condo and now they're doing Airbnb and they're making money from that and they're doing this and they're making money from that. And it bothers me. Why? Why does it bother me? Why? That's for me to figure out, obviously. And I have, and I've done a lot of work towards that. But it ignites me when other people talk about their own money. And the, the abundance of their money. Just like when I was on my health journey, it ignited me. Or even before my health journey, like my whole life was a health journey, right? <laughs> I was on a diet like all my life. Even prior to that, like people who were like fit or what I would classify as skinny or just like in shape, that shit would bother me. Like, why can they do it? And I fucking can't. What is wrong with me? Right? I didn't know then to start digging within why that bothered me so much. I know now, which is why I'm here to tell you to do the same fucking thing. Why now? And that is a Friday No Filter. So <clears throat> if you are local to me, I am actually speaking again at a coffee creamery tomorrow in Beverly Hills. Um, if you would like the information, it's at 930. Um, I'm very excited about it. I'm talking about three pieces. The, it's like the triple A's of... Um, of success, essentially, in my opinion, that can be applied to anything. It's something that I actually might do a podcast on. Um, and so if you are local and interested, feel free to come. I'd love to see you. love to have you. Um, it's with the Empowered Moms Group. I've posted about it, excuse me, on my stories. Um, it's with Dr. Emily Jacobs. If you give her a follow too, you could, she's been on my podcast before, but um, you can go give her a follow. All the information is on her page as well. So if you have any questions about that, please reach out, let me know. Otherwise, I will catch you guys. I should be here on Monday. Um, The goal is to be getting three, three podcasts out a week. I have actionable steps towards that. So that is what we are focusing on. So I should be here three times a week, very consistently. That is what I'm working towards. So I will see you or hear you talk to you or you'll hear me whatever on Monday I hope you guys have a great weekend go Lions if you're a football person uh, I hope your team wins unless you're a Green Bay fan (laughs) and then I'm not cheering for them okay on that note you guys have a great freaking weekend